Welcome back to Satisfactory. I have done a little bit of uh, minor uh, and probably some major things off camera that I want to show off before we begin with the actual episode. So let's head on over to the train terminal area of the base. None of this that I've done is of any consequence in regards to what I haven't shown before because I've basically just uh, rebuilt sections of the factory. Uh, I've also um, cheated a little bit, uh, not in the real sense of the word cheating, uh, but I did use some tickets in the uh, awesome sink to buy some Alclad aluminium sheets so that I could get some Mark V belts here, because as you can see I now have just one belt coming up from the uh, steel smelteries, and that is a Mark V belt which is capable of transporting 780 resources per minute, and we are producing 720 of the steel ingots down there. I also removed the entire steel rod um, manufacturing line that I had here, so that's gone. Um, but I have moved it over here. But I've also halved it, because I realized that there is actually no recipe except for the beacon, I think? that's going to need the iron rods. And I don't need to produce 480 iron rods for my personal usage for building things like the conveyor poles and so forth. These require iron rods, these can require iron rods, these require iron rods, uh, so yeah. But it's basically these minor things and you just need one and two of them for these basic things. So I figured why on earth should I waste steel on that? At least at the moment. But I also have the... Oh, sorry about that. I also have the uh, the steel uh, beam production in here. I removed two of these. So we now just have two of the constructors making that. So we're just making 30 per minute. But at the moment, we don't need more than 30, than 30 per minute. Because it's only, again, for personal use for making Mark III belts. Uh, so a great deal of the steel is going into the steel rod, uh, no, the steel pipe production. As a matter of fact, I have 18 constructors here making steel pipes now. So we have six uh, on each side here, which makes 12. And then we have another six over here with three on each side, which comes up to 18, which means we're using 540 steel ingots to create 360 steel pipes. And when we're done with the first thing we're going to do in this episode, we are going to be using a grand total of 240 of those steel pipes. Uh, we are currently using 100, uh, and those 100 are going into the stator and steel rotor production lines. But the first thing we want to do, and I've prepared uh, the uh, setup for that. Uh, basically, I had to move this uh, thing going, th this lift going down with the... Um, encased industrial beams uh, because I couldn't put a fifth machine there. So what we're going to do now is tear down the uh, belt with um, the uh, steel beams coming from here because we no longer need that. And then we need to find a way uh, to get the steel pipes over here. And I think the best solution for that would be to use the um, the same alignment as these, which is not, it's too off from the um, seam there. Um, so I wonder if I should just make a splitter on the line here. And get them in here. So that would be two off the seam. Uh, that won't collide with the one that we already have. And we need to have it on height level five, it would seem. Uh, I'm not really sure if that is necessary. I'm going to get that slug someday as well. Uh, I think we can move the concrete down to height level 3 and have the uh, pipes coming in on height level 4 instead. Wait. 
Yeah, that's not a problem because I don't have to mess with one of those lifts coming up from underneath because those are not fun to mess with. Well, let's remove these as well. And then this lift should be a Mark 1. No, it should not be a Mark 1 lift. We're going to require a grand total of 100 concrete. So we're going to use a Mark 2 lift here. So we're going to go up 2 and then attach that to that level instead. So that's the concrete ready. Uh, let's move on to the next step, which is the steel pipes. And they are already... Yeah, actually, I didn't even consider that. That was necessary. Uh, we want this to go... The problem now is that... I think this is the correct place it looks correct is it correct it is correct with that at least is it correct with the belt above that's the question yeah it is so that's a mark two belt off you go uh, that belt needs to be upgraded because or at least it needs to be upgraded that uh, distance there and then this one can go and move on to there since we're using a hundred uh, we need to continue to use a Mark II belt um, for that specific uh, production line over there. Here, on the other hand, we need... I don't know if I need it this close. That would be one, two, three, four, and then five. I could put it here. And I think that if I put it here... Um, that will be one, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, no, it won't be enough. So we're going to have to put one here as well. That's not a problem. Two, three, four. Oh, then I might just as well put it on the other side. I might want to have it one closer, though. Yes, I want to have it one closer. Looks better. Or maybe I want to have it online with that yeah I, yeah that let's do that let's put it online with that two three four and off you go and we are going to need 140 steel pipe for the uh, encased industrial pipe production how much steel pipe are we actually producing currently 240 Okay, so we, what we can do then is just upgrade the belts here to Mark III. We should do that, just so I don't forget, because that is kind of important. Um, I don't think that one is needed anymore. And of course the lift needs to be upgraded as well. There we go. Now I have a lot of steel pipes. Should probably get rid of some of those in the sink here. Then we need a Mark III belt going that way. Is that straight? Certainly looks straight, so that's good. Yep, that looks good. So I did that correctly. And that one goes to there. And I think we can connect that. No, we cannot connect that to there. So I'm going to need yet another one. Uh, we can build that here. Two, three, and four. Then we connect up there and there. There we go. And I hope that that is correct with the setup of having one or um, I mean two in between. It most certainly doesn't look as if it's correct. And indeed it is not. One, two. But this should actually be here. Something looks weird here. But it might just be the belt. Or the power pole might be the... Uh, the, the power pole might be throwing me off because sometimes when you see the or rather the power line when you see those power lines together with the belts it is sometimes very um ah maybe i should tear down the unnecessary conveyor poles first uh, they can be very tricky because the 
the slight curve on the uh, arrow lines, uh, they, they give off this optical illusion thing that makes it look as if it isn't uh, a straight line. So we have on level 3 and 4, good, so 1, 2, 3, and yeah, this mess with all these things, I, I, I've just given up on it. And then suddenly it's just correct, and then probably it's going to turn around randomly again at some point. It's, uh, or maybe all of them will just work now. <laughs> Why you game random? Yes. And the final one. And then we connect the belt up to there. And we can continue to connect these belts. I'm going to remove the uh, additional splitters because that is necessary, of course. But I just wanted to check that I was actually on the correct heights and so forth before I did that. You go... Go away... And... Finally, there we are. Now we need Mark two belts. Our line is in the way. So we connect that up to there. And not from there. Although it would be humorous to have a belt like that. I mean, what does that actually look like? And if I wanted to be very funny, um, can I connect that up to... No, I can't because it's a splitter. Well, I could do it again. It looks very festive. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that. Um... And there, and there. So there we have the, con have the concrete we need. I, I hope we're producing enough concrete. I'm using, I'm producing 160 because I'm producing 80 underneath here and I'm producing 80 at the uh, outpost. Great. Uh, and when we're done with this, I'm going to be using 100 concrete. So I need to just update the spreadsheet so that I know that I have 60 to spare. There we go. Now we have to connect the lifts. That is always fun. And that is one of the reasons why I don't want those really tall uh, conveyor bus poles. Conveyor bus poles, well then. I think the power poles distracted me a moment there. I don't want those really tall conveyor buses because one of the reasons why that gets annoying is that when you need to connect the lifts to something that is 13 or 15 or worse up in the air, it is like, oh, where's the arrows? Where's the arrows? And, uh, and that said, it is, a it, is, it is an efficient design. Uh, don't get me wrong, but it's not a design that I enjoyed particularly much. Let's change this to encased pipe. Or encased industrial pipe, I should say. And same with this, encased industrial pipe. We can uh, just let it fill up with the stuff. And then, of course, these guys need power. That would be uh, a huge advantage. I can't imagine why, but uh, you know, you never can tell. And there. And there. And then all of them should be working, I think. Well, maybe this one needs the recipe set. There we go. Uh, yep, that means we have five uh, assemblers making encased industrial pipes, which is, of course, just encased industrial beams, but at the very least, we are getting uh, the products. I don't remember if we're going to need these in any uh, recipe, uh, but having 20 of them produced is nice. I mean, I am producing 30 steel beams and these are required for the Mark IV belts, so it's nice to, uh, to be able to know uh, that 
we have a, a steady supply of these. So how many are we producing? 20. Uh, let's move this into my main spreadsheet. Like so. Save. All right. Can also do that. Of course, you guys don't see this, but I do. I can show you the uh, the Excel spreadsheet that I'm using at some point if you guys are interested. Uh, so that means we have. Uh, we are using 240 steel pipes. We have 120 steel pipes in excess if we should need that. And I'm sure we will. One thing that I would like to expand is our stator, rotor and motor assembly lines. But I'm not sure if we have enough space for that. At least not at the location where I'm currently producing them. I might have to, uh, to rearrange things if I want to do that. Yeah, no, there's not really much space left here. There is maybe room for one more of each of them, which would give me a buffer of rotors and stators if I were ever to need that, but you know what, I don't. Uh, so that's actually not uh, something that I need to do. Uh, let's go clean up my inventory, um, because I have too much uh, stuff that I don't need right now. The next thing that we are going to go do is take a look at the, uh, the black powder or sulfur outpost, because I have uh, things that we uh, need to do there. Get rid of that and that. Uh, I can get, get that, that. Six of those, that's fine. Uh, that one, we need more of those. We definitely don't need that many of these, and I certainly don't need that many steel pipes. Steel pipes is useful when you're building trains or rails, which I incidentally have been doing because I'm preparing for another quartz outpost. Now that's another thing that I've done off-camera that I should show you guys. But uh, we'll get around to that uh, a little bit later in the episode, I think. Let's go restock the uh, the things that we need here. The reason why I didn't click sort is to, so that I don't forget to bring a stack of wire, because I have a tendency to forget that for some reason. There we go. Wire, and grab a stack of that. Iron plate, do we need that? Yes, one stack. I like to have 600 of those. Uh, wire, we just got cable. Uh, we definitely definitely need one more stack of cable. Copper sheets? No, not for this. Oh, autosave. Uh, concrete? Yeah, I like to have 900 of that. I don't need that one. So there's 900 of that. Iron rods? We need two more stacks of that. Screws? I don't need. Rubber? Plastic? No. Wait, I actually do need plastic, I think. Yeah, but no, because I don't want to build that out there. Uh, modular frames, we have one stack of that. That's fine. Reinforced iron plates, let's grab a couple of stacks of that, because I might need to build Mark II belts. Stators I don't need, but rotors, I need a stack of that. Motors, we have a stack of those. Steel pipes, we have four stacks. Steel beams, we have six stacks. Encased industrial beams, we have six stacks. We have a stack of heavy modular frames and we have a stack of computers. So I think we're all good here. I think this is exactly what we need. I should clean up this as well because these containers on the top are no longer being used, a lot of them, and that would give me a lot of coupons, I think. Especially since it's mostly tier 2 products there. Then again, I don't think I really need coupons for anything. I mean, I spent 10 of them on Alclad aluminium sheets, which gave me 500, and I still have 79 left. And I don't know how many is in the awesome sink itself, but I, I think I have a few in the sink, in the sink too. No power. Um, is there a power pole somewhere here? Yeah, there we are. We have six coupons printable, yeah. 
So I, it's not like I'm going to lack coupons anytime soon. I don't know why I have a foundation there. Okay, now, as you remember, the first or last thing we did in this in the first episode uh, was to produce these uh, compact coal manufacturers. Uh, we are producing 200 of that. Uh, I don't think I've put that into the spreadsheet. Let me just check. Yes, I did. So, what I need to be produced out here now is fine black powder. And fine black powder, we need four assemblers making fine black powder. So I think that we're going to extend the foundations here. Uh, I don't want to extend it through that. Um, do I want them to be online? I don't know. I don't think so. Is that the correct way for the beam? Yes, it is. Those are not on the same grid. Not that that is a problem, that is easily uh, rectifiable. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to put them on the same... Um, uh, I can't go further than this though. Let's see here. Uh, I'm gonna go out there. And... Like so. There we go. I wonder why the car is being highlighted up there. I'm, I'm going to anchor these. I don't want them to be floating in the air. Are these on the same grid? It certainly looks as if they are on the same grid. They are. Interesting. In <laughs> Why did I take the time to do that when I built this out here? Okay, well, that makes it easy for me to anchor this. That's good. I don't like that this is ending up in the river, but whatever. Jump up again, and let's also build here. That gives us plenty of anchoring, and it also allows us to funnel these belts off the way that I'm doing. I could, of course, move these if I wanted to have a full anchoring here, but I'm not going to bother with that now, at least. I might do that later. Um, I need to build that foundation and have a look at what it looks like. I can actually avoid having this in the river by just moving it one further in. So what I can do is... This... No, I don't want to do that. Do I see any river under here? Yeah, I see a whole lot of river under here. Ah. How can I... Oh, I know. This is going to look a bit weird, but it is an anchor. Not the perfect anchor though, but it would look weird with the other one. Uh... Oh, the meow is real. What if I do this? Yeah, that works. I'll be happy with that. Now, I said we are going to need four assemblers, so I can remove something again, because we can only have, uh, or we can just use one line here. Uh, we want to have spacing between here, proper spacing, so I'm going to start those here. One. 
two, three, and that's wrong, but I wonder if I could go further. I can. Uh, let's actually start them. How does this look? It's two spaces. So if I go here, that's not the third one. That's the fourth one. So four of them should actually be on the grid. If I just do that. So... Two, three... And this should be on the, on the grid. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. That looks good. Also gives me the option to hook onto that belt and get the uh, black powder into the base like that. So this is fine black powder, requires sulfur and compacted coal. Doesn't really require all that much either. Um, <laughs> We're going to use 15 of our 200 compacted coal and another 30 sulfur. So this is not exactly going to be uh, a huge thing. Now, handily enough, uh, since I built this on the grid, the sulfur is easy to take in. I believe it's on level 3, so let's just continue on the very same level there. And like that, and finally this one. And how much am I using of sulfur here? I am using 200, and we're going to need 30 here. So I can just use a Mark 1 belt. That's convenient. No, I don't want to do the shenanigans with the uh, fancy weaved belts here either, but thank you for offering, game. I should do that just for the heck of it sometime. We can connect up that right away. And then we have the compacted coal. Uh, now, the compacted coal... I'm not entirely sure how to deal with the compacted coal, because the compacted coal needs to go somewhere. It's not something that I'm going to need very often, uh, and the main thing I'm going to need it for is refined products, as in products that I make in the refinery. So I don't know if I'm even going to bother making a buffer for it currently. Um... Yeah, no, I will make a buffer for it. Uh, let's see, Indust not fluid buffer, industrial storage. And we can align that up here. Is that too close? The problem, though, is that this one is coming in on level 4 and this one is on level 3, so I have to go down to that level there. Well, it's not a problem per se, but it's slightly annoying. Uh, but I can deal with it. It is not a huge problem. Uh, we don't need the first one. Uh, I want this to be... I ah, we do need the first one, sorry. Because I want... No, no, no. Actually, I have to put them on, on the, up on the lift. Because if I don't, uh, I'm not going to be able to walk there. And I, I definitely want to walk there. That's That's going to be a great boon. Uh, so we need to go up to five. Yeah, as long as you keep alternating like that, it's fine. And then it's quite important that we get <laughs> right in between those power poles. One, two, three, and four, because this is on level th two, and that is on level three. 
So that's the main thing here, that it is not the same level as any of those. And one, two, that should be enough distance. It is. Uh, so again, we have to go to level five with these randomly alternating mergers. And suddenly they work. Well, I'm not complaining that they work. And my meowing about the murders is probably more... Um, it isn't as serious as it sounds. It's fine. T three, four. Okay, so I'm going to have a little bit of clipping in that belt. Um... But I don't think I'm going to care. So that's level four, and we need mark three belts for this. So that one then goes there. This place turned out a whole more a whole lot more complex than I thought it would be. Belts crisscrossing. But crisscrossing belts is fun. And connect that to there. And then it's a matter of this. Uh, ah, crap. I need the uh, merger again. Otherwise, I won't get the line which I need. Why did it disappear? Because I'm not on the line, that's why it disappeared. Uh, so that's wrong, it should be one, two. That doesn't look right, because I didn't place it right. Okay, let's do that again then. Uh, so there, one, two, three, four, that I believe is correct. Power line, be nice to me. There we go. Now, this power line is being very problematic. Stop interfering, power line. That's, that's an order. Yeah, that power line is also clipping into that. But it's fine. I will fix it, but not now. There, and then there, and there. And remove these, and remove these. And then we go back to Mark 1, because we don't need Mark 3 lifts to connect up to the uh, to the belt. That's just silly. Not that I can't afford it, because I can, but... That doesn't necessarily mean that I want to. Very rare that you need anything higher than Mark 1 lifts to go out from production facilities. There are some instances, though. Okay, now we should be getting compacted coal into here. Sometime. Maybe. Maybe this year. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so... Oh. Sorry, I just had to take a sip of water there. The next thing that we need to do then is to get compacted coal over there. Now, I think that I'm going to take a splitter and quite simply put it down in alignment with that. And we can put it... The autosave, of course. We can put it on line with the uh, mergers that are... or splitters that are already there. And then we want to go up to level 5. One, two. Three. I believe this is... What we, I don't think we need to go up to level 5, actually. It should be sufficient to go up to level 3. Yeah, it is sufficient to go up to level 3. So we need to find the middle of that. 
correct. Is that the middle? Yes, it is. One, two, three. And here we just need a Mark 1 belt because we're going to need ridiculously small amounts of this. I mean, 15 compacted coal, that's nothing. Uh, then we need to do the splitters. On level 4. And then we can connect the belt up to there. And then to there. And then to here. And finally to there. And we can remove the splitters that we are not using. And then we connect up those with the lifts. And then finally, what we need to do over here, I've probably done this wrong, but I think that if I go down, this should work. And we can do a belt like that. It should output compacted coal and it should go into the lift. Ah, perfect. And then the final thing that we need here obviously is power because without that we're not going to have anything produced so let's connect up the machines to power as well Okay, so that now that's a, uh, a four by four connection uh, power pole. Uh, what I usually do then is upgrade it to Mark II, so that I get more connections. In case I, even if it has one out each direction, I might need to connect something more to it. So, right now we have our production of uh, fine black powder, making fifteen per minute. We have that up and running, and that's the most important thing. Um, done. We have the compacted coal being produced and we can get that out from the upper entrance there or we could even use the lower end of the splitter and just upgrade this belt to a higher speed one. So now we're going to take uh, a trip out to the um, part of the uh, base. Let's see, do I have enough to build a train? Yes. And up we go. And then we're going to take a train out to there. Of course, all of the lines have reset because I have since reloaded the game. So the uh, switches uh, are now wrong. The nicest thing about the trains is that you don't have to hold down W. That's one of the, my favorite things about the trains. You can just sit back, even in manual mode. Let's start breaking down now. You can double brake, by the way, by clicking both space and uh, S, provided you're using WASD for your movement. Then we rebuild the train again. Let's remove the jump. No, I can't. Oh, that's a shame. Then we continue our journey. Oh, you have to hold down the W key for the uh, uphill. I have no idea where this uh, roundabout is going to take us. Um, it should take us straight ahead, but it's not. Did I see a critter? Yes. Well, you can happily be there. I'm not going to bother with you. 
So I had to remove these because I, I was working on the foundations underneath. There we go. Up here we have a rather neat little uh, foundation for this uh, double turn. And the area out here is... Um, there is several quartz nodes in this area. Uh, I might have to contend with some uh, wild fauna. Um, but that's fine. Let's see here. I believe that there should be a couple of quartz nodes. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Yes? Yeah, 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 you, you. Run, 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 forest. Those are simple enough to deal with. Uh, let's grab the carapace because I don't want to accidentally drive into that and fly off into the sky. Hello, big one. Uh, and this is inefficient compared to just using... Um, uh, Noblesks, but uh, right now I just want to be quick about it. So we have one quartz node that is normal. Let's grab the berries as well. Yes, thank you. And we have another quartz node here that is normal. We have some more fluffy tailed hawks. And I think that there are these two quartz, node, quartz nodes here. I don't think there's a, a third one up here. There is. There is three normal quartz nodes up here. So that's a heck of a lot of production for quartz here. So I'm going to make a, a railway station slash outpost with um, uh, production of the actual products because I don't want to bother with a train taking in quartz to the base and then have to build uh, constructors that are making either silica and or raw quartz. That sounds like a spider. But wherever it is, it's not going to bother me. Okay. One down, one to go. And two down. I think there is more here, but I have no idea where that spider is. There might be a cave here that I'm unaware of. I haven't explored this area except for in my car. Ah, oh, there's a big spitter here. Those are so annoying. Although the poison ones are worse. So yeah, here we have another three normal raw quartz nodes. I think this is one of the most uh, quartz-rich uh, locations in the game. So this is... Uh, I don't know exactly where I'm going to build the outpost, but um, I know that the railroad... Uh, needs to be able to continue moving above this area. That is fairly important, because there are other things that we're going to look for in that direction. But that is not a very big concern, because uh, the rail is coming in here, so it's going to be going straight ahead there. And I can take the quartz from underneath, and I might build the base over there, because that's a, a large, nice, flat area. Uh... Probably we'll build it high enough up that we can um, deal with the uh, uh, the uh, because there's a nice flat area up here as well, and I don't want to mess too much around with uh, with having. So I might start up here and go outwards and uh, build some foundations to support it uh, because I don't want things to be too layered. It is slightly annoying to deal with when you have a layered factory. Um, 
especially when you're dealing with small quantities of products. It just feels inefficient to me. Okay, so they can take exactly five bullets. That's a nice bounce. There's a lot of berries here. This is also a very nice area to build in, actually. Um, not that I would build anything... I can hear the spiders here as well. Maybe they're up in the trees. And the birds too. They are good at scaring me. But yeah, six raw quartz normal. That's going to be more than sufficient for what we need in terms of uh, quartz crystal and uh, silica. I think that's actually going to be enough for the entirety of the game, to be honest. But if not, there are other quartz nodes that we can uh, go uh, tap at other places of the world, of course. Now I don't know why I bother to build the train here. Oh, yeah, that's why. The roundabout is down there. So, yeah. Uh, I will build the uh, the outpost off camera, I think, because... Yeah, this is going to take me up there, and I don't want to go there. I haven't built the trains this way, or the rails. Um, that is for other outposts. Uh, I don't know exactly what I'm going to build there yet, but uh, we will see. Uh, I know there are some nodes down there that I want. Okay, let's have another train. But I think that uh, we can round up the episode here. Uh, so uh, this is probably going to take me into the station there. No. Nice. And uh, I will do a little bit of work off camera, and uh, when there are things that is important for me to show in the tutorial, in terms of how to build things and so forth, uh, I will of course record that, but I, I don't think it's necessary for me to record building miners and, uh, and, um, and uh, constructors. But I will uh, record the uh, the train station building and um, how we deal with the products and so forth. Because they have to be taken into here and then we have to deal with them in the base and send them off to the various production chains that we're going to use the, uh, the silica uh, and the raw quartz in. But for now, if you have any questions or comments, or if you want me to record something that I've said now that I'm not going to record, uh, please feel free to leave a comment about that. And also, uh, you can, if you want to, join us in our Discord server. You'll find the link to that in the description of the video. So thank you all so much for joining me, and I will be seeing you all in the next episode.